To start off with, let's clarify what a breast lump actually is. A breast lump is a localized swelling or growth in the breast tissue. It is usually felt when you do a breast examination. Breast lumps can vary in terms of how they feel and their characteristics can provide clues about whether they might be benign or potentially cancerous. So here are some general descriptions of how breast lumps might feel. Benign lumps. Many benign lumps can feel smooth and well-defined. They might have a round or oval shape and they often feel mobile within the breast tissue. This means that they can be pushed around or moved with a little bit of gentle pressure. How about potentially cancerous lumps? What do they feel like? These on the other hand can feel firm or hard and some cancerous lumps might feel just a little bit different to the surrounding tissue. Cancerous lumps may also have an irregular shape and can feel uneven or irregular. Lumps that are fixed in place and don't move easily when touched could also be slightly worrying. Now, there are other characteristics to consider as well. Monitoring the lump over a menstrual cycle or over a few weeks might reveal changes in the size or tenderness. Benign lumps can sometimes change with hormonal fluctuations, while cancerous lumps might not change as much, if at all. It's important to remember that the texture and characteristics of a lump can vary widely, and there's no definitive way to determine whether a lump is benign or cancerous based solely on how it feels, unless, of course, you are an expert. Any new lump or change in your breast tissue should be evaluated by a healthcare provider. The truth is, the majority of breast concerns turn out to be nothing worrying at all, but you won't know unless you get them checked. So, let me tell you what happens in a breast clinic. In the UK, it is likely that you will attend a one-stop breast clinic. This essentially means that everything is done all during one visit. These kind of clinics are also known as rapid diagnostic clinics or same-day clinics. And here, you will get what is called a triple assessment, and this includes a physical examination, scans if necessary, and also biopsies if necessary. So all is done during one clinic visit, which of course saves time, but it also reduces the anxiety of having to return for multiple visits. That means at the end of the day, you will leave with a diagnosis and an explanation of the cause of your symptoms. If all is well, then you'll be discharged back to your referring doctor or your GP or family physician. However, if you did have a biopsy, then you'll be asked to return usually within a week or 10 days for the results. The doctor will ask about your symptoms. So for example, how long you've had your lump, for when you notice it, whether it's changed at all recently, how long you've had your breast pain or the changes in your breast shape or skin. They will also ask about your medical history as well as your family history of breast cancer. I'm going to be guiding you through how to examine your breasts the correct way. The first part of the examination is the looking part. This may sound obvious, but first of all, what you need to do is to be completely undressed from the top half. Then stand in front of a mirror, raise your hands above your head, and then place them on your hips and press against them. The reason for doing those actions is because sometimes lumps as well as puckering and dimpling of the skin can be more obvious when you do these actions, so make sure you do them. The other thing is if you can't see the curved bottom part of your breast, then you need to lift them up to make sure that you look into these areas as well. And whilst you're doing these actions, these are the things you need to be looking out for. Number one, any obvious lumps. Number two, any obvious skin changes or rashes. Number three, do you see any dimpling or puckering of the skin? Number four, look at your nipples. Are they retracted and are going inwards? And lastly, look for the presence of spontaneous nipple discharge. And this may stain your undergarments. Once you've done the looking part, the next step is the feeling part of the breast examination. People ask me, what am I feeling for? And the answer would be that you are feeling for lumps or an area of fullness that is more obvious compared to the other breast or really any changes in the breast that you haven't noticed before. 
Examine your breasts as if you're putting moisturizing lotion onto the skin, and that way you remember to use the flat of your fingers. It is really important to make sure you examine the whole of the breast. In fact, the breast occupies quite a large area. It occupies the area from the second rib, which is just below your collarbone or your clavicle, all the way down to where the breast curves into the chest wall. It then extends from the sternum, which is your chest bone, all the way close to your latissimus dorsum muscle, which is right to the side here. It also extends all the way to the armpit. So that is the area that you need to examine. You will examine the breast with the opposite hand. So if you're starting with your left breast, place your left hand behind your head and then using your right hand to examine it. First of all, you start feeling the breast with a light pressure. And obviously you examine the whole of the breast, not forgetting the nipple area. And then you repeat the whole process, but this time with a little bit more pressure. And that way you won't miss anything deeper in the breast. If you're hurting yourself, then you're probably going a little bit too deep. The last thing that you need to do is to examine your armpits or your axilla. And the way to get into your armpit or axilla is actually by having the arm either by your side or across your body. By doing that, you are actually counterintuitively opening the armpit. So it actually makes it more accessible to feel around. Unlike breast cancer in women, the incidence of male breast cancer is low. And so it's not a disease that is thought to affect men. Yet men can get breast cancer, and I think it's important to increase awareness. Now, if a breast lump isn't cancer, then what else could it be? There are actually several other potential causes of breast lumps that are not cancer. And here are a list of some of the common ones. Fibrocystic changes. Hormonal fluctuations throughout the menstrual cycle can lead to development of changes called fibrocystic changes which can cause the breast to feel lumpy. Fibroadenomas. These are benign lumps that is the commonest cause of lumps in young women. They are made up of glandular and connective tissue and often feel smooth and rubbery. Cysts. These are fluid filled sacs that can form in the breast tissue causing lumps. Cysts might change in size over the menstrual cycle and they can also be slightly tender. Fat necrosis. Injuries to the breast, such as from trauma, if you knock the breast, for example, or after surgery, can lead to fat necrosis, which is fat death. This can cause the formation of a lump that might feel firm, even similar to the feel of a cancerous lump. Infections. Infections like mastitis, which is breast tissue inflammation, or abscesses, which is a localized pus collection, can result in breast lumps, accompanied usually by redness, warmth, as well as pain. Lipoma. A lipoma is a non-cancerous fatty lump that can occur in the breast tissue and it feels soft to touch normally. A hamatoma. This is a benign growth that contains a mix of normal breast tissues like fat, glandular tissue, as well as connective tissue. A galactoseal. In women who are breastfeeding, milk-filled cysts known as galactoseals can develop in the breast, causing lumps. And hematomas. These are blood clots or pools of blood from an injury that can cause localized swelling and lump formation. So it's crucial to remember that not all breast lumps are cancerous. And while finding a lump can be worrying, the majority of lumps are actually benign. Early detection and proper medical evaluation are key to understanding the nature of the lump and ensuring appropriate treatment if necessary. I'll see you in the next one.